my Blickabites. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new video. And if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more of this kind of type of content, don't be don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Click on the notification bell and also click the subscribe button so you can be a part of the Blickabites family. And I don't know. I'm just excited. So let's just jump right into the video. Alrighty guys, so today this is a creative sim video and this is me playing live in the flesh <laughs> and it's just basically a video or kind of like a tutorial of how I make my sims or my male sims um, per se, like how I make them or how, you know, I just design them and stuff like that and if you guys want to, you know, sorry, I was trying to like look to where I can put my phone <laughs> But if you guys, um, you know, want to stay tuned, just want to see how I make my Sims and stuff like that, you know, it, it's going to be a fun little, a little soothing, relaxing video. You know, if you're just, if you're just watching this while you're playing the Sims or just, you know, cleaning up, like, you know, do you. I just, I hope you guys just enjoy it and hope you guys really do enjoy my content. So let's just jump right in because I'm rambling way too much. Alrighty, guys. So I just, usually when I first start making a Sim, I usually just take off everything. Like, literally, I take off everything everything the bare bones like tattoos everything like because i think of making a sim i think of it as like you know a clean slate you know you're just starting off with just you know a sim you know so yeah um usually what i'm gonna start off first with i like to start off with the eyes i usually like to just do a randomize a randomizing thing oh i like these eyes see look they just knew how to how to okay yeah i kind of like these eyes like a lot Oh my God, I like these eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. So then what I usually like to do is I like to just jump right into um to like the detailed um, mode. And I just like to sometimes like, you know, bring them down just so you can see like that little glossy part. I don't know. I like seeing that. And oh, guys, by the way, if you hear my dog barking, I'm so sorry. She she wants to come out her cage and I'm, I'm going to take her out. I promise. But after this video, guys, I had to get a video for you guys. But yeah, anyway. Um, I usually like to basically pull their eyes down a little bit just so you know you can see that little um, that little white part in their eyes Cause I feel like that's just like the glowing part you know and I also I like to basically stretch this side out of their eyes just so you can like you know I just like their eyes to be a little bit fuller you know so then next what I like to do is also go into the eyebrows and I like to scroll all the way down to my custom content eyebrows because I literally love them <laughs> And they're just like my saving grace on The Sims, like literally. But um, I think these look nice too. I'm sorry, guys. I kind of stopped because I heard the thunder. So like, if you hear thunder too in the background, I'm sorry, guys. Like, it's literally ridiculous outside. Like, it's it's been thundering today, and I don't know. I, I don't know. I just been you know. I'm a little nervous about thunder. I always be looking out the window, making sure there is nothing going on, like nothing straight, nothing breaking anything, or the thunder or anything, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I think I'm gonna stick with these eyebrows. We might change them later on. I don't know. And I also like to go into the detail mode again, and just to pull them out, you know, a little bit. Just like I like to move them around, like move my mouse around until I find like an exact way I like their eyebrows, like shape or like the style of their eyebrows. I kind of keep it like that. So I just pull them up a little bit, I, and also. I like to, I'm sorry, because I'm going all over the place in this video, but also I like to basically make sure my sim eyes, like my male sim eyes are always like kind of like pushed up and kind of like more higher than like I usually have like the female face, like the females, I usually like keep their eyes like down here or like, you know, in that area. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have like a reason why. I don't know. There's no reason why I meant, I don't know. I just like that. And I also like to sometimes keep their eyes a little bit closer. Also, I oh I got I'm not sure if I did before, but I just make the male eyes a little bit smaller too as well. Next, I usually go like a lot of like when I'm a lot of the times like most of the time I'm always using my custom content nose um filters. And it's because I just I don't know I love my nose filter so much, and I don't know I'm gonna use this one because I don't really use it as often. And then I usually like to pull in the nose too because I don't like them to be like this like oh my god like I don't know like Pinocchio vibes like I'm getting a Pinocchio vibe. <laughs> But yeah, I like to like make their nose a little bit in like that, you know, like that, like that. And then after that, I usually like to um 
basically i like to go inside of the detail mode i'm all the i'm always in that detail mode, like all the time and i have like this um slider for their chin where you can make it a butt chin and i don't know i feel like i give my males that a lot i give them a butt chin and i kind of pull their their um their their chin down a little bit and then i also this is like key i also take my sim like my male sims like cheekbones right here and i just pull them up and I kind of like, you know, I just kind of play with it. Literally, it's just like, it's just you playing with it. It's not like I have an exact way of making my Sims, but I kind of have like, you know, a little method to it. And then I kind of, um, and then I pull, you know, a lot of the facial structure in right here. And then I kind of, I like, I like that. I like that. And another thing I also do is I take the head and I kind of like, I kind of like pull it in a little bit because I feel like my male heads, I always like their heads to be smaller than like the females i don't know why look it's so weird like i have such a weird way of making my sims it's kind of like sometimes hard to explain and then i also like to go all the way up to my lip filter my lip presets and i just kind of like you know scroll through them see which one i'm really into at the moment and honestly i kind of like this is like the one I've been using a lot lately is this one. So I think I might I might throw that on him. And then I pull their lips like all the way out. Like I love having my Sims that have wide lips. Like I don't know. I just love it. I just love the like the like them having full lips. That's cuz maybe because it's like I have full lips in real life. So like I love when my Sims have full lips. And then I kind of do that right there. Play around with their eyebrows again. Their eyes, lift his eyes up a little bit put them back down i don't know i feel like you look too a little, a little too excited a little too excited then i like to sometimes make my um sims have um i like them to have sometimes like you know ears that's a little out sometimes that's like you know i used to do that a lot with my older sims in my older videos but i kind of started to like you know stray away from that i kind of started to like having my sims look a little bit more realistic like not too realistic but like you know i like to have my sims look like you know a little bit more lively or more realistic <laughs> but yeah anyway then next i usually just go and play around with the skin tones i just look around and see what vibe i'm getting from him and i don't know i, I really do i really do like my um my custom um i think this is the x maramira um skin tones more skin tones like the um the melanin pack and i really am i just love i love this pack so much i don't know i don't know what skin tone i want to give him i'm kind of vibing with like something like this Mm, I don't know. I kind of give this to my um my more so like white Sims or Caucasian Sims. I usually give this to them like as a tan because I feel like a lot of you know Caucasian people or white people they always have like a you know their skin is not like this. I mean not everybody's like that. So I kind of like you know give them a little more olive tone or yeah probably like this. But I'm not really going for a sim like that. I think I'm at this time. I think I might go for like a skin tone like. Uh, I'm kind of feeling, I don't like that one. I don't know. I never really used that one. It just looks really orange to me. Like my Sim had a tan or something. But I think I might use, mm, I think I might use this one. I'm going to stick with this one. Then next, guys, what I, I usually do after that is I go, when I kind of get like a bear, like, um, when I kind of get like a bear, like, like, you know, a good, when I kind of get like a good, um, set in stone face without skin tones on I mean skin um details on them then that's when I start to go to my skin details and then that's when I start to just you know play around with my skin details see which one I'm really vibing with if I really do like this is like my go-to right here I love this skin detail right here oh my gosh all right but um this one is like super realistic I when I had it in my game I was like Ugh. it's just kind of creepy to me I don't know it's kind of weird but like I try to like play around with the skin tones not skin tones the skin details and um, I usually like this one. I kind of like to use this one right here and probably like this this one right here. I like that. I kind of use that and then I'll use the this pack right here. I mean, this skin detail right here on top of it. And like, look at his skin. Like, I love it. Like, I love how it does that. Like, I don't know. And then <laughs> another thing I like to use. Ooh, and I just I just got these. But um, let me see how these look. Uh, no, that's not doing nothing for me right now. I'm sorry. That's just like, eh, no, I will have to play with that. I have to play with that, but I like to give them the eye bags. It's like, just like it de makes like a really nice detail under their eyes. And I don't know. I really like that. So I'm gonna keep that one on him. And then next, what I like to use is something that I like to use. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some. I'm a, I'm kind of feeling like he he would have some like you know moles on his body or something like that. I'm a I'm a I'm gonna give him something like this. I want to have a little different sim or something today. I'm vibing with. I like this. All right. So I after I finally get that done, like that's kind of like enough skin details for me that I would put on my Sims. Where like that's that's enough for me. That's enough right there. Sorry guys, like someone literally just messaged me. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I, I feel like that's enough right there. I think this is good enough. And then what I usually go into next is I go into the facial hair. Cause I feel like, you know, I feel like my, my male Sims that kind of gives them like that rough edge to them is with facial hair. So I think I might, I, I just usually just go around and see which one I like. Like this one's nice. This one's cool. That one's cool. I use that one like a lot, a lot, but, um, I think I might, I think, Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. The little stubble at the bottom. Oh, snap. Okay. All right, guys. I'm hyped, and I like this one a lot. So I'm going to keep that on him. Then next, what I usually do is I go into my hairs, and then I kind of like, sometimes I'll be thinking, like, do, do my sim look nice bald? But I don't know. I don't I don't know. I'm not really feeling him. I, I don't really get that vibe as him being a bald sim, you know? So I kind of just go through my hairs. Oh, my God. I think I just made a, I made a nice sim. Okay, so I just keep looking, like, just keep looking, Blake. Don't stop on one. So I feel like this is a nice one as well, that hair, or this one, mm, not really feeling that. I'm really feeling this, like, low-key, I am getting, like, vibes. Sorry, guys, I just burped. I just had, um, I'm drinking a LaCroix. <sighs> Look, this is a chill video, guys, I told you, like, this is a chill, chill video. Also... I usually like to pull in their face a little bit. I don't like their faces to be all wide out like that. And um, I do that. And I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm really indecisive. I don't know if I want him to have this hair. Like, that hair. Like, come on, guys. That hair or this one? That. This one. That. This one. Uh. Okay, I'm, I think I might stick with this one just for right now. Or this one. Uh. Okay, I'm going to stick with this one because I'm really vibing out with this one. All right, I'm gonna stick with this one, and then what I do sometimes is I kind of like keep like playing with their face, bring it in, bring their eyes up a little higher, and like that's really his face that I think I might really stick with. I don't know his, I might go into skin, I mean to details again, once again, and kind of like pull in certain things that I just you know don't want to be like out like that. Like his eyes, I want them to be a little bit in me, you know, more forward. And then his cheekbones, I feel like he just has like a very strong cheekbone like vibe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm like, I'm so weird. I, it's hard to explain when I'm making Sims, but like I think so, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm doing pretty good. And then, um, honestly, body like body wise, I think I kind of was like you know I go back up to my presets and like I kind of just you know go around and see what like you know body shape he would like look good in really. And honestly, oh, he, I don't want him to be like that. Um, and then I kind of just, you know, kind of play with their body. And I feel like this is an okay body, right? I feel like this is cool, right? I'm kind of vibing with this, right? And I kind of like, oh, and I have like this slider where um, I just make their hands look bigger. I feel like all my male sims, I make their hands big. Because I feel like not, okay. Sorry, guys, a, a car went by. I feel like not every guy in the world has big hands, but like, I mean, Look, I just want my Sims, I want my Sims to kind of, I feel like my Sims, I kind of like sometimes resemble me because like, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I just, I love making my Sims kind of like look or like resemble or like, you know, have my own style to it, you know? So I feel like this is good enough. Like his body type is pretty good. And then that's when I start to get in, into accessories and stuff like, um, what is it called? Like stuff like, um like the skin like the details like his his body hair and stuff like that and i feel like he would have like a little i feel like i use this one a lot where it's kind of like he he just has a little bit of hair on him it's not like dang like mr harry but like he, you know he he's chilling he he he's a man you know what i mean he a man he a man you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah i i kind of i like this i think i'm gonna stick with this and i'm starting to, this when i start to go into like tattoos like do i see them with tattoos do i not see them with tattoos um, and I kind of just play around with, you know, literally just play around with their body types and everything and just tweak them how I feel like I would want them to look like. 
Then next, I start to go into their clothing and I kind of start to think, okay, how would I, like, where would they live, right? Because, you know, if you're living in, I don't know, San Myshuno or you're living in an Oasis Springs, like, versus Oasis Springs, you're going to be wearing some, you know, loose weather clothes, like, you know, uh, just a regular tee or something like that. But if you're living, I don't know, in, like, a more colder climate, you're going to be wearing, you know, stuff like this. You know what I mean? So I feel like um, I kind of try to, like, keep in mind like, you know, what my sim, like, where my sim would live, I try to, like, keep that in mind, and I just kind of, like, go through the clothing and stuff like that, and kind of, like, imagine, like, okay, I can see them living here, or I can see them living here, or there, are they more like an urban type guy, so I kind of just keep that, like, in the back of my mind, like, a little mental note, you know, but, um, I don't know, I like stuff like this, this is pretty cool, or, ooh, Okay, I'm kind of vibing with this. I'm vibing with this low-key. But I'm going to just keep looking because I, before I actually put, you know, set in stone where I want them to wear, um, I just kind of just, you know, go through. And, yeah, I just go through what I want, like, you know, just to see what I might want them to wear. And, yeah, I'm kind of indecisive. So I'm going to be right back, guys. And I'm when I'm done putting on, like, you know, figuring out his top or, you know, his clothes, then I'll be right back. Okay, guys? I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. So I finished, like, you know, dressing him. And it took, like, you know, a good minute. But I finally finished dressing him. And I kind of got this vibe that he was, like, you know, and I put this shirt on him. I literally, it was, like, the staple piece for me. And that's another key thing for me is where, like, if I find, like, one, like, piece of, or, like, or one article of clothing that, and, like, in my catalog that I just, like, it stands out to me and just, like, it just tells the whole story like for my sim like you know so what i also so what i you know like i said like what i do is i kind of just you know try to find that one piece of clothing that really just makes me like that just brings their whole story into me like literally and i got that with him where i got like this vibe that he's probably like a teacher at like i don't know like a middle school or like a school he's like a teacher and or like a high school and he's like you know he's married and him and his wife are like trying to have kids like i i see the whole storyline and i can't wait like literally like i'm i just got vibes from him like that he's a teacher i don't know i just got that vibe that he's like a teacher sim or something like i don't know and I feel like his last name would be, hmm, I feel like Williams, like Mr. Williams, like, hey, Mr. Williams, I got a question, you know, I don't know. And I feel like his name would probably be like Alonzo, Alonzo Williams. Okay, guys. All right. Like, I'm, I'm really getting excited. Like, now I'm getting excited. Like, I want to make a video of playing with him. Like, I don't know. Okay. So anyway, I feel like he probably, like his aspiration is probably to have, um, honestly, I feel like he probably wants to, this sim wants to build a large, loving household. Mm, I feel like, yeah, but I low-key feel like, no. I feel like he's probably, okay, let's see about knowledge. Um, academic, this sim wants to attend university and get a job, but most importantly, learn. Hmm. Mm, this sim wants to be good at many things at once. Mm, I feel like he low-key would probably just want to have, um, I feel like he probably would want to probably be a super parent and i feel like he probably will be um very creative um i feel like he will be um cheerful where's cheerful i know it has to be somewhere in here cheerful cheerful I would, okay cheerful right here and then i feel like he'll probably be i feel like he'll probably be um mm, i feel like he'll probably be very smart like a very smart guy you know or like you know he just wants to help out students and that's all he that's all he really wants to do i feel like also like see this is what i also do i just kind of like try to find ways to tweak my sims just give them a little pot belly and stuff like that because i mean i want them to look realistic like i want them to be like you know they have they have a life like they're gonna they he probably goes home after work and stuff like that that he sees his wife and stuff like that they just drink a little he drinks a beer while he tells his wife about the students and stuff like that and how he taught them certain things like i don't know i get that vibe from him so i i'm excited like i really am happy how he came out and let me know what you guys think if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see more videos of me making sims and you know just vibing out like a chill video like this it's not nothing like you know serious or extreme just something just plain and simple like this i really do like videos like this so anyway guys we're coming close we are at the end of the video so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and like i said in the beginning of the video if you really really want to become a blickabite let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and also so hit that subscribe button and, and hit that notification bell so you can be reminded every time I post a new video. 
And with that being said, I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. And it isn't Pixar, but it is Blixar. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, all right. Bye, guys. Love you.